Yo, what's up guys? Talco Man here. In this video, we're gonna be showcasing the new fruit. Nico Robbins fruit, guys. The flower fruit. But before we get into it, if you guys are new to my channel, want to see more guides, showcases about this game, you guys already know what to do. Subscribe, guys, and turn on that bell. If you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, join it. We do a lot of giveaways in there. We have people teaming up for boss fights, for raids. We have a safe trading chat and this overall chill server. So if you guys want to join that, it'll be in the description and comments below. And guys, I am making a Roblox anime game. If you guys want to see some sneaks and get tested for the game, go check out our Patreon. It will also be in the description and comments below. And stay till the end for a surprise, guys. Only those who know about it will have a chance of getting something. But other than that, let's get straight into this video. Let me show you guys my stats. As you guys can see, I got max stats, 5,300 on each one. And for the showcase, I'm going to be showing it two different ways, guys. One without any buffs, so just the food itself. And the second one, guys, I'll be using Hockey with the Diablo Jambe. But yeah, we're going to be testing out the damage as I can see, so let's go. Alright, let's go teleport to second C. Alright, we are at second C now. We're going to be testing out the damage on Blackbeard Island, so let's go. Alright, let's go start our spawn point. Bam. Let's go try out the damage, guys. So our first one, our key was the Quattro Floor Clutch. Let's go try this, guys. Let's see how much damage it does. Bam. Does about... Oh, 193,000. Not bad. I'll show you guys the full damage on the screen. And for those who don't know, guys, our Q move. It only works if there are people around you. Look, if you use it, nothing happens. There needs to be, like, people there. And here it is again for those who want to see it. But. And now let's go test out the cooldown on this key move. We're going to keep clicking it till it works again. Starting now. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five seconds, guys. Now our next move. This is the CN Floor Wing. I believe this is your mobility move. Let's go try it out. Our E. Uh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. You can fly with the flower fruit, guys. It's kind of slow, but it's not bad. It does drain your stamina a bit, though. So you can see on the bottom left, it's like draining it. But yeah, let's go land. Bam. And I believe this is also five seconds. Let's go try it. One, two, uh, two seconds, actually. All right, here's the third move, guys. The Cuatro Mano Spank. I believe this one spanks our enemies. So let's go see how much damage it does. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I just think it hits multiple times. I'll show you guys the total damage that it did on screen. All right, here it is again for those who just want to see the effects. Our R. Bam. And the cooldown, it is about, let's go see. Starting one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. This has a long cooldown, guys. Ten seconds. It's not even the last move. The last, now let's go try the last move, guys. The Gigantesco Mano Stomp. Hope I said that right, but here it is. RF. Let's see. Oh, that did a lot of damage, but but not as strong as the R move. I'll show you guys on the screen how much it did exactly. And here it is again for those who want to see it. There's two legs pop up and smack on the ground. And now for the cooldown, guys. Let's see how long this one uh, takes. Starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, yep, ten seconds, guys. This one actually has pretty long cooldowns for its moves. Literally, your two attacks have a ten second cooldown, and the only move that doesn't have that long of a cooldown is your Q. This one right here. And of course, this is your fastest move, guys. Your wing. The CN Floor Wing. So you gotta wait like ten seconds every time to use these last two moves. All right, now we're gonna be adding Diablo Jambe. Bam, with our hockey, of course. We're gonna be going to a different place because we're probably gonna be too strong for this island. So let's go ahead to Wano. All 
All right, we are here, guys. As you can see, let's go set our spawn point. Boom. All right, guys, here is our Q move. Let's see how strong it is. Bam. Oh, my God. That is OP, guys. I'll show on the screen how much it did. All right, now our second move. You guys already know, it's just a flying move. I don't think there's any difference to it. Yeah, it's the same thing, guys. Bam. Now, the third move. The Cuatro Mano Spank. Let's see how much it does now. Here it is, guys. Our R. Yo, that's OP. I'll show on the screen how much it did, guys. Alright, guys. Now, our F move. The last one. Let's go see how much this one does. Bam. Yo. I got killed, but I'll show you guys on the screen how much it did exactly. But yeah, that's All right, guys, now we're gonna be showing the AOE of the fly free moves. All right, we're gonna be doing the AOE here. Let's go see our Q move. Yup, it hits from everywhere around here. Of course, our second move, our E. That's your flying move. So we're not gonna do that. Now the R move, let's go see. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, it doesn't hit that far, guys. Now let's go see how far the F move hits. Oh yeah, this one has a big AoE. And that is pretty much the AoE right there, guys. But yeah, guys, this fruit, it's strong. If I were to rate it out of like a 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it like a 7. Because like, because we don't really have that much like attacks. We only have like 3 and your other one is just your flying move. And the second thing about it is your last two moves, they both have a 10 second cooldown guys. So the only really attack you can do like back to back almost is like your Q move. But the damage, it's pretty solid. I mean there's stronger fruits out there. But it's not bad for like what it is right now. And if you guys want to see what the fruit looks like, watch this. Click on the belly symbol. This is what the flower fruit looks like, guys. I don't know what the rarity is going to be for it. It's probably going to be rare. But yeah, overall, I think that flower fruit is pretty cool. Y'all let me know your thoughts about the flower fruit. What do you guys think? But yeah, now, I'm going to be showing you guys all the ways you could possibly get the flower fruit. So I believe you can get this fruit through the merchant, guys. Like, buy fruits through here. And again, guys, you can also buy fruits. But and raids also give fruit drops so there's a chance it drops through here and again another way is probably finding it through retreat but that's probably going to be like super rare but those are some of the ways you can get the flower fruit probably all right guys that's pretty much how you get it in the showcase now for the giveaway we're going to be giving away two sets of the flower fruit with an easter's edge guys i'll be giving one away on my discord and one in the video right here so for the discord one go to the description and comments click on the discord link join it and react to the giveaway going on and for the video let's comment on hashtag flowers easter i'll be using a comment picker to put common who says that and make sure you are subbed and have that bell turned on because i will be replying to a comment who says that but on that hope you guys have a good day enjoy the update and i'll see you guys in the next one peace